You should recall from previous discussions that strong bases completely ionize or dissociate in aqueous solution. So if we had aqueous sodium hydroxide, it would completely ionize to form sodium ions and hydroxide ions. As a result, whenever we have the initial concentration of the sodium hydroxide, it will be the same as the equilibrium concentration of the hydroxide ions. As this figure indicates, we say, see that when we add the sodium hydroxide, we have no sodium hydroxide ions that are together. Instead, all of the sodium ions are separated from or dissociated from the hydroxide ions. There are six strong bases that you should be familiar with. Lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide are all alkali metal hydroxides or group one metal hydroxides. You should also know the strong bases strontium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, and barium hydroxide. You should note that for these last three bases, each of them have two hydroxides for every one mole of the base. This means that the equilibrium concentration of the hydroxide ion will be twice the concentration of the base. So for example, if we have a concentration of calcium hydroxide of 2.5 molar, at equilibrium, the concentration of the hydroxide ion would be 2.5 times 2, or 5.0 molar. Let's look at an example of finding the pH of a strong base solution. In this problem, we're asked to find the pH of a 0.047 molar strontium hydroxide solution. We begin by identifying if the base is either strong or weak. Since the base is str strontium hydroxide, and that's one of the six strong bases that we have in our memorized list, we know that this is a strong base. As a result, we know that strontium hydroxide completely ionizes, and therefore, the concentration of hydroxide is going to be twice the concentration of the strontium hydroxide. So if we have 0.047 molar strontium hydroxide, we would multiply that by the mole ratio, two moles of hydroxide for one mole of strontium hydroxide, and we would find that at equilibrium, we have 0.094 molar hydroxide ions. Now that we have the concentration of the hydroxide ion, we can find the pH of the solution. This can be done in a few different ways. First, we could find the hydronium ion concentration based on the relationship between Kw, the hydroxide ion, and the hydronium ion we know that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to Kw divided by the hydroxide ion concentration, which is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0.094, which gives us a hydronium ion concentration of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 13 molar. Now that we have the hydronium ion concentration, we can do pH equals negative log of the hydronium ion concentration or negative log of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 13 to find that this strontium hydroxide solution has a pH of 12.97. Alternatively, we can find the pOH for this strontium hydroxide solution. So the pOH equals negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, which is negative log of 0.094. This gives us a pOH of 1.03. We can now find the pH, which is 14 minus the pOH, or 14 minus 1.03, which again gives us a pH for the solution of 12.97. After watching this video, you should be able to identify six strong bases. You should also be able to determine the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide ion for strong base solutions. Finally, you should be able to calculate the pH of strong base solutions.